Hello and welcome back to Bespoke Unit. In this video we're going to find out are Wolf and Shepherd's boots the most comfortable boots in the world? Okay, I know, I know, it was a very hyperbolic and very tall claim for opening this video, but then again, Wolf and Shepherd have garnered quite the reputation for themselves for crafting the most comfortable dress shoes known to man. And a lot of people are sort of, you know, jumping on the bandwagon, there's a lot of hype, and now they're making dress boots as well, so I really wanted to see what this hype was all about, given that I've never worn the brand before. First of all, let's talk about their appearance. Here we're looking at a pair of classic Blucher style boots with a Balmoral toe cap. They're crafted from uh, Italian calfskin leather, full grain might I add, uh, with a rubber sole. These ones are in cognac, they have a nice burnished finish, but you can also get them in black and tan. I'll talk a little bit more about the colours when I discuss formality later. But first, let's talk about their construction. Now, a lot of shoe snobs out there, or people that really appreciate traditional uh, craftsmanship, may gasp in horror when they hear that these are made with a cemented sole and a hybrid uh, Blake stitch. Cementing means that some paste and adhesive was used to stick, literally stick the sole onto the shoe. Now, this is a technique often used for either cheaper shoes or athletic shoes. Or Wolf and Shepherd in general were inspired by athletic shoes when they wanted to make theirs. They sort of merged traditional shoemaking, so here we're looking at the calfskin leather, with new technologies and ergonomics that have been developed for athletics. So we're looking at not just, uh, not just a rubber sole, which is the Phoenix Tech rubber sole, I'm presuming this is because it's quite a lightweight sole, but we're also looking at an EVA heel, and we're looking at a memory foam footbed. As to why these have a cemented construction, well, we can presume one of two things. One, it's a lighter sole and it's going to be more streamlined. They want a thin, light sole so they can maximize that cushion. And two, the weight that's added when you do a Goodyear welt. I've got a pair of Dalton wingtips by Alan Edmonds. Very heavy boots. And here, to, in, in order to relieve pressure off the feet, they're trying to craft the lightest shoes or boots possible. Let's talk about the comfort in general. When I first put them on, I thought, oh, that's nice. They were a little bit stiff, a little bit, a little bit narrow for me, but you know, it was okay. It was a good, good fit. Uh, I found the quarters were particularly stiff and I thought the memory, fo uh, memory foam footbed was okay. But then I carried on wearing them for a couple of hours and then there was suddenly this moment of where it kind of clicked and I suddenly realized that the shoes not only had quickly worn in, but worn very well in. The leather in the quarters had become very supple the uppers had given and were wrapping nicely around my foot, almost like a cocoon. And in terms of the memory foam footbed, but it started to really take the contours of my feet. My heels felt cupped in place, which kind of avoided pronation, which I, by the way, have quite low arches, so I do suffer a lot from uncomfortable shoes. And my arches, uh, speaking of which, were uh, perfectly cradled in place. And every step I was taking, I was feeling this nice light bounce without it being too much. So I thought, okay, this is great, let's put it to the test. So I decided to walk my dogs with them this morning. Now, walking dogs doesn't sound like a very intense experience. My dogs are well behaved in general, but when it comes to walking them, they tug like hell. I've got a beagle that jack rabbits. Meanwhile, my white uh, Swiss Shepherd tends to pull like a car horse. So my arm's been pulled out of the socket and it really hurts. So normally what I wear for, for walking the dogs is um, a pair of Salomon Speed Crosses which have got nice thick lugs that dig into the ground and give me some good cushion, cushion with their Ortholite inserts or some, occasionally if I want to be a little bit more elegant I wear, a pair, I wear a pair of Alan Edmund Strand Monks. So I thought you know I'll really give these a good run for their money. Not only did they easily beat the Strand Monks in terms of comfort because I get tired feet by the end of an hour long walk but um, in terms of the speed crosses, they easily rivaled these. They're the soles here, you've got these nice lugs, they gave, in, they gave me some very good traction and my heels felt nicely cut and uh, pressure was relieved off my planter when I was really trying to dig it in. <clears throat> the support from the quarters meant I got extra support that I otherwise wouldn't have had from my speed cross trail running shoes. 
So that was the fit, and I stand duly corrected. Uh, it, they they work, and I was really really impressed. So when can you actually wear these? I found them to be, so I wore them casually when going out and running a couple of errands and I found them just too elegant, too streamlined for that kind of daily purpose. Uh, even though I chose cognac because it would be more versatile, uh, the tan might fare better as casual wear, whereas the black will be more formal. Um, nevertheless, I thought that they wouldn't really work with jeans, not as much as I'd like. So uh, then I thought, okay, and as I was going for a walk with the dogs, I noticed that, you know, it's starting to become autumn, we're starting to have leaves that have fallen very golden, and the colour worked beautifully with these boots. So I came to realise that, well, these are definitely with their Balmoral cap toe, with their streamlined design. This is more of a business casual to business professional wear. Beyond that, I wouldn't be able to wear it, I'd say, for anything more dressy, uh, anything dressier, anything more formal. So definitely within that sphere. For autumn, these are perfect with a tweed suit, they'll look great. I think I'm gonna have a lot of fun wearing these for this season and up until very, very cold months. In terms of uh, fit, like I said, I found them to run a little bit narrow, but they gave very, very easily. I'm a 42 euro, which is somewhere between a US 9 and a 9.5. I went for 9.5 because I wanted to wear these with thicker socks. However, I don't think I'll be able to wear them with thicker socks. If you're going to get these, maybe get the size above. In terms of length, they fit perfectly, but it's just on the width, I found them just to be a little bit narrow. So finally, let's briefly talk about the presentation. This is something I cover in much more detail in my other reviews because it plays a much stronger part of the overall experience of a product. With shoes, it's a little bit different because you're really buying them for the shoes and not the packaging. Nevertheless, here we have a nice matte black uh, packaging with understated gold lettering. And in what you get with your boots, you don't get any shoe horns because with boots, that really isn't necessary. But you do get these really nice dust bags. Uh, on the outside, it's kind of a microfiber uh, material that seems to have a good resistance to dust. And on the inside, you have this quite felty finish here, which is uh, very soft and should give it some good protection and scratch resistance. In terms of value for money, if you look at it from one perspective, you're looking at cement sold shoes or boots for $500, which sounds outrageous. But if you take into consideration all the research, the development, and the new technologies that are involved in this, and just the fact that there is nothing like this right now, nothing else out there, then if you start to wear them, like I have been doing, initially a skeptical, and start to wear them on a daily basis and realize just how good they feel, then Okay, yeah, they're, they're worth it. They're definitely worth it. But, admittedly, it is a little bit of investment. Nevertheless, if you want to make the plunge, we do have links below. Head down there, grab, take a look, grab a pair if you want. They do have other shoes available. So I started this video with a question, but am I going to finish it with an answer? Yes, yes, I think I'm confident that I will. Okay, I do have more comfortable footwear, and that footwear I'm thinking about are my slippers. These are actually, I'm impressed, really, and I kind of feel a bit em embarrassed to an extent and because I'm being jumping on a bad wagon and being hyperbolic about it as well, but these are fantastic. Indeed, they come with a slight price tag, but I believe that it is worth it. Having worn them for a couple of days, and having had foot pain for most of my adult life when wearing dress shoes, standing all day, walking, and with my slight low arches, these, these are fantastic. These are really, really good. They wear well, they look good, and they feel great. It's kind of a bit of a revelation for me, and I'm sorry if I'm sounding like I am indeed jumping on that bandwagon and, and giving in to the hype, but I'm not. I came in really as a skeptic. And I think it's definitely worth that you at least give them a chance. You know, hit the link in the description below, go and take a look, grab a pair if you want, and then come back here, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and I bet there'll be something positive. Anyway, that's all from me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want to talk to us, leave a comment, we'd be delighted to hear from you. And then again, there's going to be the subscribe button. We love our subscribers, and we would love it if you joined us. Until the next time, I'm CP. Take care.